Hi, stationary friends. Welcome to Ginger Peachy Pens. My name is Sarah, and today I want to share with you a rainbow of my favorite fountain pen inks. Um, let me tell you really quickly how I sort of came up with my uh, rules for this. Um, about two or three weeks ago, I sat down and was like, okay, let me make a list of my favorite inks in every color category. And I ended up with like 30 inks and that was way too many because I would like write down one pink and I'll be like, well, let me also pick a dark pink. You know, like I just had way too many. And um, I was looking at my fountain pen companion, which was helpful, but also, you know, made me see everything that was like, oh, but I love that one too. And I love that one too. So I just scratched the whole thing and I said, okay, let me, you know, start over in a week or so. And so last night I sat down, I said, okay, I'm going, going to just choose my favorite ink, the first one that comes to mind in each of these color categories. And that's the only one <laughs> that I'm going to swatch. Um, I may mention some other favorites, just, you know, just mention them, but I'm only going to show you these 10. So the colors that I have chosen, the, the rainbow that I've chosen is not just Roy G. Biv. Um, I did pink, red, orange, yellow, green, um, teal, or like between green and blue, blue, purple, magenta, and brown. Um, and I did not do black because I, I just usually use black cartridges like Pilot or Sailor. Black cartridges, I don't really have a favorite black ink, and I don't have a favorite gray ink um, either because I just don't like gray. It's not my color. So, and of course, you could probably make up some other categories in there. I did not do indigo because I was like, what is indigo really? But um, but this is what I chose. So there's 10 inks here. I'll do a quick little swatch for you and show you the coloring card. Um, get those laid out here so you can see them all together. And um, editing Sarah jumping in here. Um, it occurs to me that this would make a really great tag video. So um, I would love to make this video a tag. If any other creators, I will tag some pen friends in the description, but I will forget some people. Please do not have your feelings hurt. But this is open to anyone. If anyone wants to make a, um, a rainbow of favorite inks video, um, I will come up with a good hashtag so we can find them and I would love for you to share your rainbow of favorites. Um, if you want to use my color categories, that is fine. Or if you want to kind of create your own, if you're into more neutrals or more, um, you know, whatever, you can adjust it for yourself. But just share your rainbow of favorite fountain pen inks. It's open to everyone and just have fun with it. I'd love to see some of your favorites. Also, if you don't want to make a video, share in the comments. would love that. All right, back to the video. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna use a sheet of um, Claire Fontaine Triumph, just plain white paper. My dog is over here squeaking his little toy and um, I've just got something to put behind it. This is a mouse pad from when I was, what, maybe 12, 13 years old. Um, this is like the third time I've started this video because I was doing too much. I was like writing the name and stuff and then I was like, Sarah, you're, you're doing too much here. So starting it over, here we go. Um, let's start with pink. So my favorite pink, first one that came to mind is Colorverse, Girls Just Wanna. Um, someone sent me a sample of this when I traded a pen and they knew that I liked pink inks and um, I loved it the first time I used it. So this came in a two pack of the same ink in the large and the small bottles. Um, this is, this ink I keep in my Esterbrook um, SD candy because this pink matches the pink and the candy really well. Here is the coloring card. It is a bright like Barbie pink and I really really like it. I do put just the tiniest smidge of white lightning in um, like I have some of this ink in a sample vial and I put just the tiniest drop of white lightning in it to lubricate it just a little bit more so it's not quite so dry but let's see if I can maybe line these up up here. All right, I don't love to use um, Q-tips in my bottles because I just feel like they're going to put some cotton, you know, fibers, but we're going for it. The first couple of times I started this video, I used a paintbrush and my paintbrush had some orange on it. And so it was tainting the, anyway, the 
pink, I mean the Q-tip is going to work a lot better. So there is Girl Just Wanna. Actually, I like the look of the paintbrush swatch better, but what you going to do? So my red choice is Dye Mine Wild Strawberry. You can see that I've used, hopefully you can see, I've used a good bit of this. I'll, you know, I can't show you totally, but you can see that there's a good bit missing up here. This was one of the first inks that I ever purchased when I got into fountain pens. And um, I've really liked it. It's called Wild Strawberry. And I think that that's probably because it is kind of an orangey strawberry red. It's got green or greenish sheen around the edges. So it looks like a strawberry, you know, in a field like with green around it. Kind of a yellowy green. I know in this swatch it's coming across pretty gold and it is, um, but that around the edges just really comes across as green. And I'm hoping that the swatch here you'll be able to see the green as it dries. So here we go. I'm going to try not to get ink all over my hands. Probably should have just gotten 10 Q-tips instead of trying to conserve a little extra. So, dye my wild strawberry. And I will show you, um, I'll show it to you closer once it's drying when I get to the end. Um, my choice for green, uh, orange, jump up to green, orange is the Pen Addict by Robert Oster, Fire on Fire. I mentioned this in my Robert Oster video. Um, I really like orange as a color in life, <laughs> but I don't have a lot of orange inks. But this one is just a great middle of the road, um, color-wise, orangey orange. It's not too yellow. It's not too red. Um... I should have written Pen Addict by Robert Oster. I did that backwards, but it's called Fire on Fire. A great orange ink. Highly recommend. Let's see. Ah. I feel like the Q-tip kind of pulls on the paper a little bit more than you really want it to, but it's all right. So that is our Fire on Fire. I'm going to have to turn this to make room up there for those cards. Let's see. How can I do this? Does this work for us? Okay. On to yellow. So my yellow choice I just have a sample of. And this was sent to me by Simona, Simone. Um, it is Wearing Ghouls, Yun Dong, Dong Ju, A Star Spattered Hill. And it is a shimmer. Um, this is the only shimmer on this list. I'm not a big shimmer ink user. Um, I think they're beautiful, but I also think that they can be challenging and things like that. So I just don't use them much. But this one I have loved using. That shimmer comes across so beautifully. I really hope that these um, Q-tip swatches are going to be good because the paintbrush swatches do look better to my eyes, but maybe they will be fine. Doing this all over my hands, so, but you know, badge of honor. Oh, I didn't show you the swatch card. So here's the swatch card. Can you see the shimmer in that? I feel like it doesn't come across on camera super well, but it is really beautiful. It's very readable. Um, I don't feel like it's, it would be too hard for most anybody to read. Um, it's a great, great yellow. Um, another favorite yellow of mine is Roar and Klingner's Helianthus, which is just kind of a bright yellowy yellow um, with a little hint of orange. It leans a little orange, but is a bright, happy yellow that's also pretty readable in my opinion. So. Um, next, my favorite green is Pelican Edelstein Olivine. Um, this one was a special edition. I am sorry. But recently someone said, hey, I found um, Olivine and Smoky Quartz and Star Ruby, Pelican Star Ruby, which is another favorite of mine. I should have mentioned that with the pinks because it is a favorite pink ink is Star Ruby. Um, at Pen Boutique, they had some bottles. So if you're interested in this, go check out Pen Boutique, see if they still have any. Um, 
but this is a really great dark like foresty green here is the swatch card This is from their um, gemstone collection. And I just love it. So let's see. I'm going to try to avoid that little dot of orange I accidentally put there. Sorry, I'm like two fingering, trying to hold this Q tip to, like, you know, so I can't draw good circles. Yeah, olivine, a really beautiful dark forest green. If I run out of that color, I will be sad and be looking for a new one similar. Um, all right, my favorite teal ink, or you know, in that family, is Diamine Marine. Marine, I have used it over and over and over. Um, I have a lot of inks that are teal ish. Um, here is Diamine Marine. It is kind of a bright blue, but it's got a fair amount of green in it. Like it definitely is different from blue and it's definitely different from green. Um, but it is one of my most, most used inks. Um, I've used a multiple samples of it and this ink um, has a fair amount out of it. So let's do a little swatch a swatch. Ah. I don't like the Q-tip method, guys. <laughs> But here we are. We're in it. Is a favorite, Diamond Marine. Again, I'll show you this closer when we get to the end. Um, my favorite blue is Waterman Inspired Blue. Again, this was one of my favorite, my first inks to ever purchase. I'm going to try to see. Let me see about how much I have. So when this ink bottle is upright, I have about this much left just so little. I've filled up so many pens with this ink over the years. Um, here it is. It is in that same sort of category as Pilot Hiroshizuku Konpeki. Um, there are other videos where I've compared them and they're not exactly the same, but it's, it's kind of a bright royal blue. Um, I don't always love heavy sheening inks and this is not a super heavy sheener, but it does have some red sheen and um, I just really like it. It behaves really well. I have found that all Waterman inks, all the Waterman inks that I have tried, um, shade really well and just, is that what I'm trying to say? They flow really well. They flow really well. They are just well made, high quality, and not very expensive. Um, all right. Waterman inspired blue going down on the paper. I think these maybe are coming out okay. I think the swatch card kind of gives you the best example, but this is maybe kind of showing you how it dries. I don't know. Maybe the next time I do one of these kind of videos, it'll be better. <laughs> All right. So for purple, I had to go with Pilot Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu. I have used this ink time and time and time again. It is truthfully not super exciting. I mean, it's just purple. Like it's, really good standard purple. It doesn't have a ton of shading. It doesn't have any sheen. It, um, but it behaves so well in every pen that I've ever put it in from fine to broad. Um, and it's not super wet, but it's not dry. Like I've, it's never felt dry at all. Um, but just such, 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 a, such, such a good ink. It merited buying a whole bottle and I've already used maybe a quarter to a third of it. So, which is not what I can say for so many of my ink bottles. Kind of a swatchy swatch. This is the color that it really looks like um, coming out of your pen most of the time. It is kind of, a lot of the time it comes out kind of a little bit on the lighter side, not in a bad way, but bright. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? got some brightness to it that just makes it a little special <laughs> and here I am saying it's like a standard purple but it's got something special I don't know I like it okay that's that's what we're going with um okay next is magenta and I have gone with um uh, Monteverde Gratitude Magenta 
Um, I don't think Monteverde inks get enough love because they are very inexpensive. All of them have been really good quality that I've used. One of my other favorite greens is Key Lime Pie. It's a bright, um, you know, like lime green, <laughs> as you would expect. Um, I've got several Monteverde inks that I really like. Um, and they're super inexpensive, so I don't know why they don't get more love. But this Gratitude, it's very similar to my old favorite um, Noodler's Cactus Fruit Eel. It's similar to Roar and Klingner Magenta and Diamine Deep Magenta. Similar, and I'm not compare like they're not exact. I'm not comparing them at this moment. I've done that in some other videos, but it is definitely a favorite. I've had this in a broad nib for a while, a broad pilot nib gold and it flows so beautifully and it looks really pretty on the paper um so that is um uh, my choice for magenta i had to make a magenta category because it is um probably my favorite ink color category i've said before it's not like my favorite color in life like i don't i don't go for magenta things usually over other colors you know like yeah, but in ink, for whatever reason, it's just, it's not pink, it's not purple, you know, it's in that in between. And um, it's a joy to write with because it's always dark enough to read. They tend to flow really well in pens, um, you know, not be very dry. And so I just like them. I like Yamabuto, um, Noodler's Cactus Fruit Eel. Like I said, all those other ones that I said are some of my favorite magenta inks. But this is my favorite currently. And last but not least, uh, my favorite brown is Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. I mentioned this a minute ago. There was some available at Pen Boutique. This is a really nice dark brown. I hope this comes across well. I feel like it's looking a little bit lighter on camera. But you, then, you know, I get it onto YouTube and a lot of times it straightens out. But it is a dark brown, but you can tell it's brown. It doesn't look black. Um, it's not too warm. It's not too cool. Like, it is a good medium brown. It flows in every pen really well. Um, I've used it in extra fine all the way to broad nibs and just always like it. Um, I've said before, this ink and olivine and star ruby those three pelican edelstein inks are the only inks that i own backup bottles of that i have purchased a second bottle to put away for later because i know that they will go away and um you know i won't be able to get it so you know who knows maybe one day i'll end up selling my spare bottles but um i do use this pretty much always have at least one pen inked with those three inks. Um, so that is my 10 rainbow of favorites. Um, let me organize this just a little bit and I will come back and show you this paper closer as it has kind of dried. So here, and that brown is still not dry, but here is a close-up. So can you see this green around the edge of wild strawberry? Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. That orange is so beautiful. This shimmer. And the wearing gold ink. Olivine sometimes has just a little bit of shading, but generally it's just solid dark green and such a good solid ink. Diamond Marine does have some shading in it in wider pens. You can see that a little bit better here. Um, so does Inspired Blue. Inspired Blue um, shades really well. I feel like um, oh, in pretty much every nib I've used it in, you can see some shading. So I know you may not see that super well here. Murasaki Shikibu, look at that magenta. Beautiful. And... You can see smoky quartz drying down there to a nice dark brown. So that is my rainbow of favorites. Um, feel free. I would love to hear some of your favorites. Um, some of my other, like my one of my favorite pinks, I told you is Star Ruby. 
um, told you a green. I also love Diamine Aqua Lagoon is sort of a bright blue that leans just a little bit um, aqua. Well, it's called Aqua Lagoon, but um, that would fall kind of like in between these that I love. Um, lots of purples. I love purple ink in general. Um, the Pannonia Arvaxka is a new purple favorite that is glorious. It is gorgeous. It is a Colt Pens exclusive. Um, so yeah. Oh, and another brown favorite is J. Urban's Lee de, Lee de Te. T. 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 H. E. Um, so those are some other ones, you know, if you've tried these, you want a different recommendation. Um, yeah, this is it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, next week, I hope to be back some with some really fun things or, well, I hope this would be fun too. It might be another mystery matchup video. I'm about ready to do another one. So it'll either be that or possibly a pen, a pen interview, um, with someone or I don't know, got a couple of ideas. So, um, Anyway, if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss uh, future fun pen and ink videos. And um, I hope everyone has a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.